today we're going to be looking at FDVV, the Fidelity High Dividend ETF. Today is March 26, 2024. Let's jump right in. The fund objective seeks to provide investment returns that correspond before taxes and fees expenses generally to the performance of the Fidelity High Dividend Index. Normally investing at least 80% of its assets in, in securities including the Fidelity High Dividend Index and depository receipts representing securities included in the index. The Fidelity High Dividend Index is designed to reflect the performance of stocks of large and mid-capitalization dividend paying companies that are expected to continue to pay and grow their dividends. FDVV has been around since September 16th of 2016, currently has $2.3 billion under management. Morningstar has this a, a large value category with a four star overall rating. It currently has 119 underlying holdings with 99.64% of that being in equities. It does not derive income from derivatives or options trading. It is not an actively managed fund. It is not a leveraged ETF or an inverse ETF. The current expense ratio on FDVV is 0.15%. It has a current low PDE ratio of 11.31. It does distribute dividends quarterly, and its last distribution was $0.37 cents a share. It has a current share price of $44.51 per share and a 52% portfolio turnover rate. The trailing 12-month distribution yield sits at 3.64%, with a 30-day distribution yield of 2.95%, a year-to-date total return in 2024 of 3.52%, and a one-year total return of 18.92%. The lifetime total return since inception is 11.71%. The five managers have a combined 34 years of experience. The index, again, tracks the Fidelity Dividend Index. This is a proprietary benchmark that's based around the Russell 1000 Value Index. Its top holdings is Microsoft currently at 5.85%, Apple at 4.8%, NVIDIA at 4.63%, Procter & Gamble at 2.17%, Exxon at 2.12%, PepsiCo at 1.84%, General Electric at 1.75%, followed by Chevron at 1.69%, Philip Morris International 1.69 and lastly Broadcom at 1.67. The equity sector exposure is roughly 23.11% in information technology, it's 19.10% financials, 14.5% industrials, consumer staples 12.2%, energy 11%, real estate 8.6%, healthcare 6.7%, consumer discretionary 3.6%, and lastly, consumer services at 0.9%. The geographic footprint uh, exposure is roughly 91.27% US based. It's 3.15% uh, based Japan, 2.95% United Kingdom, 1.08% Hong Kong, Denmark 0.86%, and lastly, Germany 0.68%. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please don't take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next dividend review video. Hi, I'd like to take a minute to share with you some of our affiliate partners. Charles Schwab. You can sign up through the link below uh, in the description or through this QR code. Uh, they are offering cash deposits when you make a deposit into a Charles Schwab account. We use Charles Schwab here on this platform uh, for the research that we provide. Fidelity has an amazing e-money partner link. Uh, you can combine all of your online accounts and it gives you an awesome experience. It's called uh, Fidelity Full View. Robinhood is an amazing mobile experience. Uh, it's got a fun app, easy to use, uh, very awesome brokerage account. Uh, customer service is great. Thank you guys so much again. We hope we can help you out and see you guys in the next video.